Welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling on the shores of Shawano Lake. I'll tell you what, Freddie's playing the key of F for fun. This right. is a part one of our summer vacation on Shawano Lake with Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Stay tuned for some great action. Oh, yeah, you got it, baby. Louisiana Grills presents Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Brought to you by Louisiana Grills and Smokers, Pit Boss Grills, America's Pork Producers, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Sundrop Soda, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Cherry Delight, Shooting Star Casino, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Beautiful day here at Shawano Lake, or as Alexa would say, Shawano. Welcome Lake. to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest <laughs> Grilling. We're having a great summer vacation. Freddie was kind enough. Freddie, you were kind enough to let you into your humble abode yes. on Shawano Lake. Well, when you said that you were going to do something with cherries, I got all excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm making you and I'm, I'm making you and Kathy a cherry crisp from Country Oven. So it's a cherry delight Country Ovens. Crisp. Boy, are you a lucky guy. Am I a lucky guy? Your wife's a lucky guy. <laughs> oh, I tell her that all the time. Yeah, you better <laughs> tell her that. Well, you I'll tell you what. appreciate it. In the Cherry Delight, uh, they got a thousand and one little cherries in each and every cherry pie. Uh, we've got the Pit Boss, by the way, the Pit Boss. Go to Pit Boss. Uh, go to louisianagrills.com, but Pit Boss in general, their sister company, they got some great accessories like this beautiful cast iron skillet. And I love working with cast iron skillets when it comes yep, to you crisps better believe it. and pies and, and things like that. And I'm thinking one pie, you know, I thought, thought I'd have to use two pie fillings, but I think one's You're going to be fine, man. I think I'm going to be fine with all that in the country ovens. Countryovens.com, by the way. Countryovens.com. Great cherries. I love one it. One of our great sponsors. Oh, the pie filling is wonderful. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Down below here, down below, out of the sunlight, because whenever we take a vacation, it's always sunny at Freddie's house. Yep. That's why we call him Sunny. <laughs> by the shores, by the hay, by the deer. Oh, a little chocolate chips action there. No wonder you don't want that out in the sun, huh? No, we don't want to melt oh, that. Oh, get that out our face and everything? Oh, it'd be terrible. So our good friends at Country Oven, you know they have the cherry pie filling, they have the uh, cherry juices and all kinds of great kinds. Right. But the cherry, the tart cherries, are the tart cherries is what everybody's after. So besides the pie filling, we're going to take some wonderful tart cherries Ooh. and we're going to place those all the way around. Right. Those are going to get nice and soft as they're baking on the Louisiana grill. We're going to put miniature marshmallows, Freddie, for you and Kathy. I know how much you love your miniature yeah. marshmallows. You're right about that. Yeah, I know. I'm looking s'mores tonight by the campfire, Freddie. <laughs> well, that's what we're doing. And then we got little chocolate chips. So then we have the chocolate chips on top of there. And then, and then as I'm doing this, Merrill's got some things to do, and then I'm going to make my, my crisp pop. Sounds good. You know, we're cooking on the Louisiana vertical smoker today. We're smoking at 250 degrees. I've actually got some ribs, and i got some potatoes on there. Wow. The ribs I've already had on for about three hours. I caught a few of those Oh, things. yeah. They're <laughs> gorgeous. Yeah, and then the potatoes I put on the last two hours. Very okay. easy to do, but you really want to season the potatoes. So I like using a little bit of olive oil on there. Now, you make sure that it's all completely moist all the way around. A lot of people, a lot of people wrap the the, the uh, potatoes, yeah. but we want to have the, the smoky right, flavor. Right, right. And what's nice with the whole crust on this. Are you this, done with that oil? Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know how I've tipped that over, man. I've tipped a lot of bottles over. <laughs> okay, we've got that seasoning wise. You won't believe this, but I like using our garlic pepper. How come I won't believe it? You wait till you have the potatoes. You'll love it. Yeah. On both sides, on both I sides. Believe it. You'll see it too. Look at this. Look I'll at this. See it. You want to coat it very I've well. I've been peeking too. in that vertical smoker. That you were grill. you peeking in there? I was. It looks uh, great. Yeah. The sea salt. I'm really surprised. How, you'll see that from on the smoker. How well that that just. You know that's, right that sea salt. We, Mad Dog and Merrill have a sea salt. It lays in. If you look underneath a microscope, it's like beautiful felt layers in there. And they take those beautiful felt layers and, and they bleach out all the iodine, all the beautiful nutrients in there. They roll them to little BBs and that's your table salt. Yeah. So you want to use sea salt. Yeah, you do. It's sea really salt nice. just brings uh, out the flavor. You'll see that definitely on the potatoes when we bring those out too. No. So, so can I do my crisp now? Yeah, go ahead and do your crisp. Because i got to get this on the grill. I really okay, do. Okay, he's got to get that on the grill. He's, he's got to date. So we have, equal parts of oat, we have equal parts of flour, we have equal parts of brown sugar and oats. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I know. I was hoping that would work. <laughs> And we're going to put that together. Now, I read a lot of ingredients. Some said to add just a little bit of baking powder. 
No kidding. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just like a quarter, a quarter teaspoon. So we're gonna add a little quarter teaspoon of baking powder in there. What the heck? You can't ruin it. No. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> it's television. It's gonna turn out no matter what, folks. Uh, beautiful nutmeg over the top. We've got some cinnamon over the top of that. So nutmeg and cinnamon. I've got melted butter. Okay. I didn't know how much melted butter to do, but we're gonna add. Ooh. That's about one tablespoon. Is all. Oh, boy, I hope that's enough. We'll scrape right, the boy. bottom of the butter. <laughs> Milk it out, baby. Milk it out. <laughs> and you know what? I read a little bit too, and some say just a little bit of vanilla extract. The oh real stuff. yeah. So why not? That what proof flavor. is that? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 35. Yeah. <laughs> and the we're movie just gonna... State Fair, remember the dad come in and drink the vanilla all the time? <laughs> That's the only question I have to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, if there's ever prohibition, I'm going to take up bacon. Yeah, that's a good thing to do, too. <laughs> so we've got, we got that all mixed together. And it doesn't, I, I found out I've used too much butter in the past. Have you? Yeah, and it crisp, it too hard. So we're going to add that over the top. And we're going to put that on our Louisiana pellet grill, our 800 series. And we're going to put that on at about a 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay. And it should turn out to be a wonderful little crisp. Uh, it sure will. I, I will be. So. I've got the ribs. i got country style ribs I'm doing not today. Not the rack of ribs, not the, not the baby backs or the St. Louis country style. Oh, which baby. I'm getting to like. A lot of people have a tendency, I think, to overcook ribs all the time, too. I agree. What I've done on this is very simple. I've taken our grill and magic. Okay. I've taken brown sugar, so I've cut it in half. So if you, if you were using a cup of grilling magic, you'd use a half a cup of sugar. Okay. You mix that all together. And that's all what I've used for the rub. I'm putting a dry rub on this. So I've got this in here, and you want to coat this very, very well. <laughs> I mean, you want to coat that. it. Don't be shy. Uncle you got plenty. never rubbed you wrong. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Couple times I have, isn't that right, Mad Dog? Yes, you have. <laughs> in 40 some years, I'm bound to do that. <laughs> time and time again, Freddie. Yeah, time and time and time again. So, so while Mara's putting the rub on there, I just want to show you something, too. All right. Now, we're, we're, uh, our good friends at Louisiana Grills, Pit Bosses, they own like, I forget if it's four or five different pellet companies. Okay. Yeah. But this is actually their charcoal blend. And if you take a look, they actually blend, which is 100% natural wood, but right. charcoal is. It's just charred down to a different point of moisture content. That's got charcoal involved with it. So you get a beautiful charcoal flavor. Right. Also with the wood when you're using the, the, the charcoal blend. Right. That's a nice even blend. They got blend a whiskey too. blend. They got a competitor's blend. They got about three, four right. other different blands. Great folks. Great folks. Great You've folks. Got it. Should we put a little barbecue sauce on the yeah, ribs? Yeah, why don't you? We got the ribs. Now I'm taking the ribs off. They're about, probably about 160 degrees now. Mad Dog and Miro's spicy barbecue sauce. We have a hickory and we have a number one. All three are absolutely delicious and, and naturally spicy. delicious. Show so, them what we got, Fanta. I'm going to show them. There you go, because we've got even the spuds and we've got the, saw, the uh, oh, ribs. Oh, man, look at that baby. Look at them ribs. Uh -huh. Look at the potatoes. The potatoes are turning out great. Yeah. The ribs, and we're just going to put a little coating of basting on top. Now, we're not going to smother them in the barbecue no, sauce. No, thank you, thank just, you. Just, just, For you people that like them smothered, go ahead and smother them, but don't smother my ribs. But you know what? I love a little glaze, because that's going to that's gonna caramelize on there just gorgeously. You got it. Now, we have no high fructose corn syrup in there, so it's not going to burn. It's just going to have a nice little great flavor to it. The preservatives is the pineapple and the vinegar, and the food coloring is the molasses in there. It's great flavor. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to... Close that baby up if I can get it from the side yeah, there. Yeah, it is. It gets it really nice and tight there. So 250 degrees. I figure around three hours for the ribs. The last two hours is when I put the potatoes in there. Because that baby could, could bake. So potatoes take two hours. Yep. In the, at that temperature. Yep, 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 so. yep, yep, yep. All right, Mad Dog and Mero's Midwest Grilling vacation. We got a vacation with Mad Dog and Mero. From the shores of Shawnee. I'm going to take my shirt off and go in the lake. I'm, no, no, just Ready? Take, No, don't do that. Okay, I won't. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. All right, what do I got for temperature there? Well, by golly, I'll tell you what, you're up to one, one, boy, you're at one, 155 there, sir. All Those right, babies beautiful. are done. So when beautiful. we're talking about primal cuts of pork, we're talking about 145 degrees, at least 145 degrees. You can go to pork.org to learn more. And of course, eatwisconsinpotatoes.com. Eatwisconsinpotatoes.com. You can find out more about great Wisconsin potato recipes. Freddie, I think you look thirsty. Are you hey. thirsty, Freddie? Yeah, this is my second favorite part of the show. Wait, wait. 
Freddie, from this angle, you look thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie always looks thirsty. For it's a nice Tuesday, yeah, not God. a Thursday. <laughs> you know, for a lot of people like us making the drinks, and I also, well, you don't do anything dietic. You always do something with a lot of sugar. Well, today we're going to solve that problem. Hey, Even though we got the bourbon here. If you're going to spend a vacation at the beach here, yeah. you got to have a boot, That's a right. Boat That's drink, right. Is what I'd call so it. So this is what we've got here. I'm just using some art, some sweetener here. Ooh. There's no sugar here, just sweetener. I got two packs in each each glass here. So I'm gonna put make one glass here at first. <laughs> no, I got some mint. I All love right. mint. Well, I'll oh, tell you. I've been drinking mint water with your recommendation. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I, I have love been. It. Yeah. That's great. That's called <laughs> mouthwash. <laughs> no. Well, I drink it all the time on there. There's nothing wrong with that. The only time Freddie drinks mint is during Kentucky Derby. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, exactly. <laughs> well, that's his big I got, a, I got a lot of mint in there for you, Freddie. Well, there you go. You know, you've got the sweetener in there. Now, what you want to do, you want to just go ahead. You don't want to overpower the mint there, push it real down. You just want it nice and light. Muddle okay? it. You want, nice. to, you want to muddle it. It's like, Very a, it's like a new fashion. <laughs> a new fashion. <laughs> this happens to be a Sun Drop mint cooler. Sir. Very good. Now I'm going to add some Diet Sun Drop in here. Because you have the artificial sweetener in That's there. right, exactly, exactly. And then what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that this is really stirred around. If you want that. Look at that. Oh, he's still in the old. The old James Bond. Of, oh, man. All right. Got a little ice, add ice, ice in there for you, Fred. Shaking. I love these, I really do. Shaken, not stirred. I like it. <laughs> so, Freddie, how long you lived on Shawano Lake? Now, this is 49 years in this spot right really? here. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've been on the lake since I was two years old, just down on the line from Grandma's Cottage, so. Really? Yes. So, you know, really I love this tell. place. Yeah. It's a great city. Well, it is. You know, I'm an old Chicago guy, and yep. I knew at an early age this is where I wanted to live. Yep. You're well, a smart you man. Just, I thought you were just old. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. All right, Freddie, give her a taste and see what. Uh... Hey, there's something missing. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> oh, God. I wanted to see if he would catch on, but no. Oh, not Freddie. Lordy. Freddie catches on pretty quick. Not You're too good, Freddie. Oh. There you go, sir. That's so, our good friends at Shano, by the way, when you come to Shano, Wisconsin, you got to go to the Shano, the, uh, the, uh, Sundrop Museum and University Museum, Sundrop University Museum, uh, uh, Sundrop Museum. You got to look it up online. You got to visit. Great tours, great thing. Tasting room at the end. It's at twigsbeverage.net. Twigsbeverage.net. This is unbelievable. Is it? This is right on the money. This is something that I'm going to put this in my uh, so recipe, it, <laughs> my repertoire. So it beats it be, the uh, apple cider one I put together for you. A couple weeks ago. <laughs> Uh, would you like a non-alcoholic one, sir? Yeah, sure, 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 all right, sure. All right, go ahead. So, so it, 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 it's uh, eatwisconsinpotatoes.com, by the way, eatwisconsinpotatoes.com, and that's what we're doing right now. I got the griddle going right now. We got the big old pit paws, four burner griddle going. With they've got a two, they've got a three, they got a four, they got a five burner griddle. There's some great griddles on the market, but you got to do the pit boss. They're absolutely wonderful, great ladies and gentlemen. This baby is fired up. We've got some potatoes. We've got reds and golds going right now. I'm going to do a couple more real fast here because it only takes a second. And we're going to get oh. these potatoes just to going. I so we got the golds. And what's great about doing the golds and the reds, you end up with a little cap at the end, and that one just gets disposed of. And Holy you got the wow. red potatoes and the golds. And we're going to do a little flat top cooking today. All right. Watch those fingers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's exactly right. Boy. So we're going to spread those spuds out. To you? We're going to get rid of that baby right there. I've got peppers and onions, and i got to have peppers and onions yeah. in my hash browns. And we spread those babies out just nicely like that. Now here's what we're going to do on the griddle. Okay. I'm gonna take, these are partly melted here, so I'm going to take a couple tabs of butter. Yes. And we're just going to plop Ooh. and plop and plop. Now I'm going to add a little bit of oil to that. So it don't burn. And we're gonna oh, get our spuds man. on there. That's my type of potato. Isn't that great? Yeah, can't go wrong with that. You're the man. Now with that, with the extra pork, we got the potatoes on the grill. One of our great sponsors is pork, and you can't get better pork than kibasa. Oh. That's our breakfast links today, is nice kibasa. Those go directly on the griddle. And those get put down there. Now I got a little surprise for Mr. Murrell. So those are going to okay. cook away. I got to season ours, by surprise. the way. Surprise! We're going to add a, oh, man. We're going to add a little Grandma Hazel because we forgot to season our potatoes. 
So we got some wonderful great spices as Mad Dog and Merrill. Uh, grandma's like the old fashioned Montreal or steak seasoning, nice coarsely ground. They Merrill can't used be the garlic grandma. pepper before, that was sodium free on top of there. Merrill, do you remember this? this yep, is... I almost, you know what? <laughs> oh my God. So th yeah. this was presented to us by Martin Yen. How many years ago? Oh, 10 years ago, probably longer than that, yeah. 15. 25? 20, 25 years, years ago, ago 10. Yeah. 10. That is amazing. COVID was just 10 years ago, for God's sake. So Martin Yen was a, was a friend of ours, and he toured when we did home and garden shows, and that baby's never been used. But Yen was always, I've been practicing on the airplane. I got many bones. They're going to be mad at me. The bones are underneath the seats. They're going to be really mad at me. That was Martin Yen. He had the good. same sayings all the time. But what a great guy he was. He was. He was. He always had that thing with the noodles, too. That was his big shtick. Yeah. Kept on shoulder to get all the time. <laughs> the noodles would stretch out yeah, and stretch out. They have somebody else try it, they couldn't do well, it. Well, that so. box reminded me of the Peacemaker pencil they gave Wyatt Earp. Oh, really? Remember that yet? <laughs> <laughs> Came in a, in a velvet box like that. Well, I'm anxious to see this, so sir. Look at these kibasses. That baby's browning already. I was going to split those in half lengthwise, but I, I, I didn't do it. Now, I've got a dozen eggs in here because we're doing breakfast. And I'm actually going to turn the griddle offs on these sides here because we're just going to use the heat for the for the uh, hash browns over there. Okay. I love hash browns. I love hash browns. Hash Boy. browns got to be crispy, and when it do crispy, you got to have a pit boss griddle. Now we're going to try these eggs. I'm going to do the same thing. I never did eggs on the griddle. I know. Yet. I was wondering just to see how this turns out. This is what I like about Mad Dog. He isn't scared of anything. I'd be happy to go. Oh, I don't know if I want to. Glad you got me here. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. You're blocking my view. So <laughs> <I can't. laughs> yeah, keep on blocking. This thing blows up in our face here. Oh, look, look at that. that. So those are a dozen eggs. A little grandma hazels over the top of those. The hash browns, the kibasa, the eggs, all on the pit boss griddle. We've got smoked country style ribs, potatoes on the vertical Louisiana pellet grill, and the cobbler, I'm sure, is looking delicious. Oh, can I peek? Well, let's find out. Ready to look? Peek? That baby's yeah. cooking nice. Cooking. I'm going to drizzle a little more butter on top of there right. when we get done here. So, Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling by the shores of Shano Lake. This is part one of our vacation oh, with yes. Mad Dog and Freddy. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Well, I'll tell you what, this is part one of the summer vacation on Shano Lake with Freddie Meyer. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, Keep look at those. I'll tell you what, there you go. Yes. I'll tell you what, those eggs turned out beautiful. Uh, here's the ring kibasa. That ring kibasa, I'll tell you what, pork is wonderful to do on the grill. When that baby starts to split, that baby's ready. And they're just starting to split right now. They're nice and warm. They're all pre-cooked, so all we're trying to do is raise them to about 145, 150 degrees. So, Meryl, do we want country ovens habanero, oh. chutney, or salsa? I love salsa. To me, there's nothing like salsa. They're salsa. Salsa it is. It's awesome. So here's Good how flavor. we top these babies on the end. All right. I like them on eggs, too. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, I'm with you all the way. Oh, yeah. That oh, salsa is great on everything. That's now, country I like oven. Wisconsin potatoes too. Wisconsin <laughs> potatoes, sour cream, and countryovens.com <laughs> with their cherry delight products. They're absolutely wonderful. The potatoes. Here's the potatoes. The star of the show, ladies and gentlemen. EatWisconsinPotatoes.com. Man, those hash browns. That's as crispy and as delicious as they Look get. Look at that, man. Those turned out wonderful. And those are raw potatoes. I use the Gukon Gold, and I also use the, uh, the, reds? the Reds. Yeah. Look at that. And and the, and the, and, the, and those turned out delicious. I got to have Tabasco with mine. I hear you. you. Know, I can use some of the Country Ovens products, but I got to have Tabasco yeah, when it comes yeah, to hash I agree. Browns. I agree with so you guys you. ready for a little platter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Play us some little platters. Little platters. Some of the platter. Get rid of the beetle here. I love it, man. A little kibasa. I like it. Whoa, sure whoa. The utensil to use. <laughs> it's all right. Time before. Yeah. <laughs> Are put we it doing it on there? What are you doing? Oh, put it on there, man. Really? Oh, whatever you want. Okay. What the, what's the plates yeah. for? I gotta get my ribs. 
<laughs> oh, your ribs. Oh, let's get the dang ribs off. What the heck? What's uh, up, the, part of these? Up, I let's want get... the breakfast. Oh, my gosh. Let's get those ribs off no, there. What are the eggs, man? What are the on. eggs? <laughs> I forgot about your ribs. <laughs> and the potato. Wait till you see oh. that spud, man. I can't wait. All right, look at that. Now we're talking. Hey, man's quick. Tell you what, when they're hot, you're quick. Yeah, look, look at, at that. that. All right, look at all those. Oh, the ribs. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, man. Oh, man, those spudlies are delicious. Love the spudlies. Little sea salt, little garlic pepper. Yeah, you got her. Thank you, sir. We got the eggs. We got the we got the beautiful pork cooked. Yeah, about yeah, you got that. You got that, right. Spuds, everything else. I like them eggs. Looks good. Mizumis Popolsku. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right. We're going to be right back to wrap this baby yeah. up. What a meal, man. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling Part 2 coming right up, ladies and gentlemen. You got her. Happy grilling. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.